Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has landed in California and is en route to New York to address the United Nations General Assembly. The visit comes in the thick of massive protests in Israel against the judicial overhaul plan that has rocked the nation. As he departed from the Ben Gurion Airport in Tel Aviv, Netanyahu was greeted with chanting by crowds hitting out at home over the judicial overhaul, casting barbs at Netanyahu. People called on him to not return to Israel from the U.S. Netanyahu equated protesters at home with enemies of the state. He said that anti-judicial overhaul protesters were joining forces with Iran and the Palestine Liberation Organization. In a later statement, the Prime Minister's office clarified his statement. The statement said that Netanyahu was referring to the fact that anti-overhaul protesters will be demonstrating at the same time, as pro-Palestine and pro-sanction activists will also protest during the United Nations General Assembly session. Netanyahu's troubles at home are just one end of it. U.S. Israel relations remain tense as pressure mounts against Netanyahu for what has been termed an anti-democratic stance. It reflects in the fact that he has not been invited to the White House. Netanyahu will be meeting Biden on the sidelines of the United Nations General Assembly. Meanwhile, protesters began to prepare for Netanyahu's arrival in the United States. Protesters from an activist group projected welcome to Alcatraz, BB on the walls of the infamous U.S. jail. An image showing Netanyahu in inmate's uniform was also projected onto the wall of the Alcaraz jail ahead of Netanyahu's arrival of the West Coast or at the West Coast. Netanyahu said that the protests do not surprise him anymore. He confirmed that he will raise the issue of Iran's intent to develop nuclear weapons with Biden. The escalation follows Tehran's move to ban multiple United Nations nuclear inspectors assigned to Iran. I think that today the world sees, and I certainly recognize it, that the Iran has fulfilled all the expectations of it, that it is very proud of it, that it is also trying to fight against the Iranian nuclear weapons and also to continue its control of it in the region. We will fight against these two things together. I heard the fears that came from אחד מאנשי המשטר האיראני היום, אני מציע לו לא לאיים עלינו, והוא צריך לדעת, והמשטר הזה צריך לדעת, שאנחנו נגיב בעוצמה לכל תקיפה של אנשינו ושל אזרחינו. Netanyahu is using Iran as a peg to warm up to the West and win their favor. At home, though, things are far from well. We On is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.